This is a computer networks question based upon TCP connection establishment using the three-way handshake mechanism. Now, what do we know by this mechanism? It is something that is used when two hosts, we can say one is acting as a client and another one is the server. They are trying to establish a connection between them. How does it take place? First of all, client will send a SYN packet to the server saying that I want to initialize the connection. SYN means synchronize in order to initialize the connection. Now to this request, the server will acknowledge and server will also send its own SYN package because the connection has to be established from both the sides. So along with acknowledgement, it will also send its SYN package to which this client will acknowledge and that's how the connection would be established between them. So this is something we call to as the three-way handshake mechanism. So now using this mechanism, we are having two hosts in this question, which are P and Q. And they are randomly selecting a 32-bit sequence number, which is X and Y respectively. Now, what is the role of these sequence numbers? We know that TCP is a byte stream protocol. So every byte is numbered. If my sequence number initially is X and I am sending 100 bytes in a segment, let us say, starting from 1 up to 100 this way. 100 bytes are being sent in the segment so my sequence number would be updated to x plus 100 suggesting that how many bytes have been sent that is the role of sequence numbers so now they are saying that suppose p is sending a tcp connection request message to q so connection is being initialized from p side towards q what is it sending exactly the sin bit equal to 1 in this particular packet, the host P would be making the SYN bit as 1. In order to establish the connection, it is initializing it. This is called as active. Uh, on P side, it would be active connection establishment. Or on Q side, it will be passive. In the same way, we also have the connection closing mechanism in which we have active close on this side and passive close on the other side. Along with the SYN bit equal to 1, its sequence number is X that is already given. Then acknowledge bit equal to 0 because it has nothing to acknowledge till now. So the acknowledge bit it is sending as 0. Now this packet has been sent to Q over here. Now to that Q has to respond. Suppose Q accepts the connection request. Which of the following choices represents the information present in the TCP segment header? that is sent by Q to P. So now Q has to accept this connection and send back some response to it. Now what will it respond? P had sent a connection request to it, so it has to acknowledge that. So acknowledgement bit has to be 1. It will also need to establish the connection from its own side. So it will also have to send the SYN bit equal to 1 because connection has to be established on both the sides. Now, what about the sequence number? It has initially chosen its sequence number as Y. So it will be sending Y itself because till now there has been no exchange of data on either sides. So the sequence number would be X and Y itself. Now, we know that there are two different fields in the TCP header. One is acknowledgement bit and another is the acknowledgement number. What is the difference between them? Let us have a look at these options. We are having SYN bit, sequence number, acknowledgement bit, this is just like a flag, then acknowledgement number, this acknowledgement number states that what is the next expected byte from the other side. Now, from P side, it has received a SYN packet and that SYN packet consumes one sequence number. Hence, the sequence number X has been consumed and the next byte which will be coming from P would have a sequence number x plus 1. So this is the next expected byte from the P side. Hence, Q will set its acknowledgement number as x plus 1 because that is what it is expecting next from P. Then lastly, we have fin bit. The connection is being established and not being terminated. So the fin bit will be 0. So this is what we have got. Acknowledgement bit 1, SYN bit 1, sequence number Y, we can check out the options. B is incorrect because SYN bit is 0. 
then a is also incorrect because the acknowledgement bit is zero it has to acknowledge the packet sent by p then option d is also incorrect because the acknowledgement number given is x but it has to be x plus 1 because the sin packet consumes one sequence number if it were a pure acknowledgement then it does not consume any sequence number so here we are left with option c which is the correct answer sin bit 1 sequence number y acknowledgement bit or the flag as 1 acknowledgement number which means the next expected byte x plus 1 and the fin bit 0 so this is the correct answer option c